The electric vehicle industry is seen as more of a technology sector than an automotive one. The very intelligently constructed cars are not only capable of driving themselves, but they are also capable of certain technology-focused autonomous control, such as LiDAR capabilities. This technology has now progressed beyond the integration of automobiles. It is becoming more of a business tool. In the past, this was solely used to develop infrastructure, but now businesses are taking use of it to put their products on the market. Lucid didn't slack in this area either, as they teamed up with a major semiconductor company, NVIDIA. How NVIDIA collaborated with Zero Light to bring Lucid Studio to life, how semiconductor businesses are seen as an investment, and should you invest in one. All that is to come, so make sure to watch the video to the end. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder, subscribing's free and liking the video will help YouTube suggest similar content. We love comments and we feature them in our upcoming videos. NVIDIA has teamed up with Zero Light to develop a unique visualization platform that is used across the automotive sector. But this time, the collaboration was intended to demonstrate what Lucid is capable of by providing real-time product rendering, hyper-realistic graphics, and completely customizable air models. The collaboration has allowed Lucid to surpass their consumers' expectations by providing a range of dynamic, high-quality experiences of a virtual experience. Before introducing its sedan, Lucid was attempting to create a purchase experience for its new flagship product that was as highly advanced as the vehicle itself. For that purpose, Zero Light and NVIDIA collaborated to develop a robust cloud-rendered personalization platform for Lucid's website, which allowed users to experience and customize the automobile in extraordinary detail. Given that this solution is delivered through cloud streaming, the company was able to make use of the new G4 domains to provide real-time ray tracing. G4 is a new kind of AWS cloud server that is equipped with an NVIDIA T4 graphics processor. A model like the Lucid Air was ideal for showcasing the enhanced realism provided by real-time rendering using ray tracing technologies. For the simple reason that, because glass constitutes a substantial amount of the vehicle's bodywork, customers were able to notice the breathtaking effects in the interior reflections as the small details we take for granted in offline renderings are now accessible in real time on any platform. The combination of NVIDIA and Zero Light has increased the likelihood of Lucid customers placing a car reservation by more than twofold when compared to customers who engage in a conventional sales transaction. When potential customers attend a Lucid Studio, they are guided through a shared customization session that will combine the proximity of a dealership with the ease of an online configuration tool. This technology has allowed Lucid to literally bring its direct sales approach to life, allowing the company to demonstrate the Lucid Air to consumers in breathtaking detail. Considering that many automobile purchasers are less willing to visit dealerships but are yet interested in dealing with live people during the final stages of the purchase process, this NVIDIA integration provides the best of both the online and physical worlds. Instead of engaging with a sales agent in unfamiliar and uncomfortable situations, buyers can now explore a new car in ways that were previously difficult to do in the virtual world. Potential consumers can see and configure their fantasy air in extraordinary detail thanks to the shared, cloud-based 3D customization that powers Lucid Studio Live. The configurator makes use of an advanced 3D digital duplicate of the Lucid Airs that can be viewed in real time, as well as ray tracing technology, the kind of technology that's used in complex video games to guarantee images are incredibly realistic. Many different California-inspired backgrounds, as well as lifelike elements like moving ways, assist to draw the lucid air to life in extremely realistic environments. There are several other camera angles available to help lead customers around a car, 
and customers may even take control of the camera to customize their experience. There are several ways that an air salesman can customize a vehicle for a prospective client during a live exhibition session. The salesperson can use this opportunity to explain and show off countless options available to lucid buyers. Once the customer is fully satisfied as to how he or she wants their lucid air, they can book their specified automobile. Not only that, they'll also get a customized digital brochure featuring the vehicle they have selected. This is very detailed personalization procedure and it's been crafted to comfort clients and help them feel more connected to the Lucid brand no matter where they are in the world. All of this is made possible by the semiconductor industry, which is constantly growing in popularity and developing. Furthermore, semiconductor companies like EV businesses are also seen as growth stocks. They had a furious bull run during the outbreak, with stock prices rising by more than 100%. The technology industry has nearly always been seen as a promising area of the market for expansion. As a matter of fact, all of the stocks in the FAANG group that are known for outperforming the indices are technology companies. When the stock market went into a tailspin in March 2020, investors were driven to reevaluate their investment strategies. This resulted in a spectacular bull run in several tech companies. During the epidemic, the stock of Apple increased by more than 100%. PayPal is a fintech company that has seen its stock price rise by more than 150%. NVIDIA, the semiconductor powerhouse, has seen its stock rise by more than 300% in the last two years reaching a peak of more than 400%. That is ridiculous growth. It had been years since the IT industry had been so robust. Semiconductors were in high demand, which put them at the heart of the pandemic tech catalyst. Streaming, e-commerce, and telework have all risen in popularity, creating a tremendous new development potential in the semiconductor industry. These emerging technology divisions such as streaming, gaming, EVs, and e-commerce will continue to drive demand for semiconductors indefinitely. This is true even when the epidemic begins to fade. For instance, NVIDIA stated in its financial results for the third quarter of 2022 that revenue from its data center and gaming sectors increased by 55% and 42%. In addition to a growing base of clients, Semiconductor makers also have an increasing number of new customers who are from developing businesses that are poised to become the next big thing in their respective markets. Despite the fact that semiconductor companies have several reasons to be highly valued, the epidemic has produced a never-before-seen change in the way investors see the market. Tech is nearly always a growing industry, but the last two years have been an anomaly when compared to other periods of expansion. Because of inflationary fears and plans by the Federal Reserve to raise interest rates, the stock market is on the verge of a correction. This will surely have an effect on technology stocks and likely semiconductor stocks too. Even if the shortage remains and the company continues to thrive, the stock market does not necessarily reflect the fundamentals of the economy. While investing, investors must assess their risk tolerance. When the market becomes unmanageable, it may mean shifting assets away from growth sectors and into more defensive positions such as dividend stocks, blue chip companies, consumer staples companies, or banking stocks. While semiconductors seem to be a safe investment at the moment, they do come with a significant element of risk which should be taken into consideration. Semiconductors are found in practically every kind of technology and they're required by more than 150 different sectors. When you combine it with the high-growth technology industry, you may expect to see excellent returns. Due to their need, there will always be a market for them, and their growth prospects are closely related to the expansion of the technology businesses that will one day dominate the sector in which they operate. So, ultimately, their success depends on the sectors they supply to. If you do the math, this seems very much enticing. Werner Chantel says he understands the fact that tomorrow isn't promised to anyone, but investing today is a hard thing to do 
because he has no idea of how and where to invest. We hope this video has opened up some markets for your portfolio. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.